Good morning everyone or good afternoon. Um, so in today's session, I wanted to ask you, did you know you can actually teach without being a teacher or rather in my case guide people into you know better languages, better speaking, better communication? But before you do that, you have to acquire first. So there are nine things, nine things, nine things I'd like to show you guys things to watch out for how you can actually acquire languages coming up okay so one of the first things I'd like to mention is when you acquire you actually get better at understanding what is acquisition first of all it's not just it's not a method it's not about any of those things it's just something natural that we have it's something we were born with it's as according to Stephen Crash and the research shows, it's the acquisitional device. You never lose it. You were born with it. You never lose it. It's just natural. Actually, I noticed that it actually, in my experience, it actually applies to everything else. Like when you acquire skills, specifically like sports or things that are hands-on, you acquire those things. Um, it's possible to acquire those sorts of things, but one of the very first things that I always tell people is pleasure. Pleasure is, again, like in my previous videos, is connected to the subconscious here. So, in order for everything to happen, like an actual acquisition to happen, you need to have pleasure, but also using the five senses, so anything subconscious. So, watch out for several things. So, the nine things are... Number one, think about the fact that it's not about language. It's about stories, it's experiences, it's exposure. Lots of exposure, lots of just being connected to the environment, right? So you bring the culture to you. I told this to other people before that, at least from my experience, I noticed this. It was like, well, what is language? What is, is, is it just... You know, all like is it just words? Is it this phrases, idioms, all those things? It's those are just information, but what you want is language that comes with culture. So basically, what you want is to bring the culture to you. So you go for experience where you have culture. And when I say culture, I don't just mean culture, culture like Canadian culture, Russian, uh, Spanish, uh, Egyptian, whatever. Right? Okay. It's about behavior, body language, because without culture or body language, you don't have language. So it's all rooted in communication. Number two, are you using subtitles? <laughs> subtitles just give you information and it doesn't actually work. I tested this for myself several times. Actually, I didn't test it. I used to use subtitles and I noticed that I wasn't really getting anything. I wasn't uh, connecting to the story. I wasn't enjoying it. It was just like, you know, if you ever try watching a TV show or movie originally in your native language with your native language like subtitles it's very distracting it's very it takes you away from the story you're not connecting therefore it's conscious rather than subconscious okay. number three when you watch something see if you can find visual aids things that help you understand what's going on you understand the message that's what comprehensible input is right so you want to look for visual aids you want to look for things that i would say trigger the five senses right something that you're like oh okay cool i'm actually like hmm, okay i'm getting the message here so basically your intuition is working right so that's a third one um, actually, I wanted to show that it happens a lot through this show called Peppa Pig. Um, this one's a specifically uh, Serbian <laughs> channel. It's been dubbed in Serbian. So, but uh, I use that channel, so that's great. Uh, number four, interactivity. So, what you want is you want to again be in that experience, but. Videos that are interactive are some things like when you're watching a cooking a cooking show where they're actually there talking to you, going through the recipe with you, and you also, you know, participate. You're basically participating, you're interacting. Right? So cooking, um, exercise, exercise videos, you know, there's those Tobato ones, there's uh, 
yoga as well there's any sort of act physical hands-on stuff video games can be kind of tricky but um kind of right so you're really interacting with that and another one is like something like an example i can think of is gardening so basically anything hands-on okay. number five asking if the source is too informative meaning that they're are they talking too much are they blah, 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 blah and you're not even getting anything you're just like blah, 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 blah. you know so what do you want to watch out for because i noticed that too it's like hmm kids shows like you know kids shows is really recommendable especially if it's a new language um because it's a guide it helps you it's easy what is it three words that uh stephen crashen said fun easy compelling kids shows can be like that right because maybe add the shows for normal like adults or teens even can be compelling but if it's too hard then it's kind of takes away the fun from it right again pleasure subconscious okay you want to make sure that the uh are guiding you to what's going on there right even through how they're talking number six how fast are they speaking <laughs> i mean are they speaking fast or slow i mean do you have to adjust the speed on let's say if it's a youtube clip like do you have to do that if you have to that means it's kind of just too much right are you enjoying it so that means because of the speed are you actually feeling like you're guided or supported through that speed itself number seven do you actually feel like you're getting into the story um so much so that you're forget it's a language that's the compelling part is it compelling is it pulling you in right um but again you want to make sure it's also that fun easy compelling i mean these are stephen Krashen's words I'm referencing what he said so um and number eight this is this one is more like on the side what you can do is um i'll put it on the link below but things that help you acquire it like ear training we do this in music called ear training you're playing sounds and you're kind of just actively listening to it but in this case you want to be passively listening to it so it's kind of like subliminal right subliminal and you just play sounds in the background radio podcast even a show actually even a show or like something visual like a, a video right um and also doing creative things because creativity helps you to be more appreciative of yourself you get to appreciate your own inner strength your own abilities your skills you grow with that um, that's for another time though okay so those are what i noticed for me that really works i do this all the time with languages um whether it's new or like something i'm already used to i just a lot of sounds in the background to play it's just I don't look for understanding i don't look for the words i don't do anything it just plays in the background while i'm doing something too so it's kind of like just it's like music right when you hear music you appreciate oh okay cool and also of course there is music too you play music in the background like because you're really into it right but yeah so that's another one okay and number nine okay um this is when we go into really kind of making it into a habit um as much as you can you know you usually maybe start with exposure several times a week or once a week it doesn't matter because it's you it's you do you really enjoy it right um things to look out for is that these things that i mentioned already but also like are you doing it because you want to rather than because you need to i hear this all the time people who are trying to uh, do whether they're learning or acquiring english or preferably acquiring english they do it because they need to and it takes the fun out of it and it's not good because it becomes really conscious right it's just this sort of thing so um that's number nine because when you to become that sort of like once it becomes a habit you can be sort of an example for your own life so that once you think about helping others or becoming a teacher it doesn't matter what it is it's not about the labels right once you want to do once you if you because you know this is um being a teacher is more than just it's not about your knowledge it's not about you which comes to the 10th part right i mean sorry the 11th part actually it's 10 or 11 but you know 
it's not about you um, in the video in the movie sorry uh, which is uh, Doctor Strange with uh, with the ancient one she says a bunch of things right the most important lesson of all or something like that um, yeah it's not about me it's not about you it's about all of us it's about how we can help each other right so um, and of course which I'm going back to the tenth one that was eleven <laughs> the tenth one is just always be open be open you know, you're still learning you're acquiring many things so those are the things that I wanted to mention anyways I hope this helps I hope this was uh, I'll give you the run through in the comment section below I'll also post some links I believe where it's necessary but in any case I hope this helps you guys uh, I will see you guys later and thank you <laughs>